I love that saying. It's because it has so much meaning. It is the work, the weeks, the months, sometimes the years that go into enduring a process to getting to a point where the work is done and now you get to test all of that work. But I'm a that I do one thing is the way that I do everything. It's the way I'm gonna approach building a business. It's the way that I'm gonna approach leading my family. It's gonna be the way that I show up as a friend, a father, and a husband. That is the way that I'm going to do everything in my life. And if I don't apply that same mindset to a fitness prep, a marathon prep, then where else will I slip at other parts of my life? Years ago when I ran my first marathon, which was just under four hours, and my second marathon, which was just over four hours, sub 245, to be honest, it was something that I viewed as unbelievable. But when you stack enough wins, which also come with losses and failures along the way, and you build confidence, you realize that nothing is unbelievable. Nothing is impossible if you just put in the work and you dedicate to that craft and you endure the process. Marathons are not and should not be easy. There will be a point where I start to hurt. There will be a point where I start to suffer. And it is my job to embrace that suffering. It is my job to truly allow that suffering to come in, acknowledge it, and drive through. But if you allow that suffering to break you down, to ignite doubt in your mind and in your body, you will crumble. But if you take that suffering for what it is, and you use it as fuel, you welcome it in, you embrace it, that is what is required to do your job. On December 3rd, 2023, my job is going to be to run a sub 245 marathon. And I'm gonna ask myself the question, when things get hard and they get challenging and I start to suffer, can I do my job? And it is my responsibility to get it done. At this point, the hay is in the barn. The work is done. Now, I have to toe the line and suffer well. And suffer well, to achieve the outcome that I want from all the work that's been put in leading up until this moment. The hay is in the barn.